Welcome back to Paul Plays in Portugal, this Football Manager 2018 Let's Play series. This is episode two of the series, so if you haven't checked out episode one, please go and watch that first. It's now the 9th of September 2017, and as you can see, it's been a pretty good start to the season. It's now the end of the transfer window, by the way. I've signed one player who we'll look at in a second. But after four games, we've won one game, which was in the last episode, of course. We've drawn two, and we've lost one with a zero goal difference, five points. Not too bad considering we're predicted to go down. Of course, it's really, really early days and it can all change. And we've not played Porto, we've not played Sporting, we've not played Benfica yet. So they're going to be probably big losses, to be honest. Despite the fact we have been pretty solid at the back. And I, I feel like our defence is a strong point. We've kept two clean sheets out of four games. And we've only conceded three goals. Uh, two of them were in the same match. But this game against Maritimo produced Goal of the Month award. And it was from Denair, who scored in the last minute of this game to salvage a point for us. And we have to have a look at this because it was a sensational strike to, to give us a valuable point. Look at that. On the volley, headed out from the corner, lashed it home. What a brilliant Berlinga. I love those goals from the edge of the box uh, just coming as a result of a corner. Unfortunately, we did lose 2-1 away from home against Pacos das Ferreira, I think it's. I think that's that's how the team said. I might be completely wrong. I've already said sorry in advance for mispronunciations. You can say two-one loss. Uh, Wellington, our right winger, did manage to get a goal for us. He got a late goal, giving us well, 60th minute goal. He gave us a bit of hope for the last half an hour, but unfortunately, we couldn't get back into it. And then a nil-nil draw against this team, uh, Vitalis, I think something like that. Um, they're, a, they're a decent team, actually. So it was a good 0-0 draw. And our defence, Jadson, vice-captain, really solid at the back. Oriol Russell played pretty well in defence midfield. So good, good game. And now today, we're going to take on Moria Rents. Oh, this is awful, isn't it? Moria have... <laughs> Mor Mor Rents. Some, yeah, I give up. We're taking on them away from home. They're one place above us in the table. And I'm loving this. I've only played four games so far, but I'm absolutely loving this save already. It really has been fun. But first of all, transfers. I have already let one player go out on loan. That was before episode one, and I forgot to say. But I've loaned out this Japanese guy, Theo Ryuki, who I didn't need. But coming into the team, it's a bit of a random transfer. He's called Chuma. And he's a Spaniard who didn't have a club. And I noticed he was on available for free. I scouted him, but unfortunately my scouts couldn't really get enough information on him in time before the end of the transfer window because the new scouting method, you know, it's difficult. I didn't have, I've not ticked the uh, disable attribute masking, so I couldn't see any information, any of these attributes. Um, and I think I had like very, very vague idea of a few of his attributes. So I just decided to take a punt and He's okay. I don't think he's going to be particularly important for us this season. But we're he's only got one and a half star current ability, according to my, my assistant. And by the way, I've lost my chief scout because I think Porto nicked him and given just made him a regular scout at their team. So I've only got one scout left in the team. So I'm trying to find some good scouts, but there's no one available. Anyway, let's get on with this match then against... Mauro Rents in the uh, Primera Liga, or however you pronounce that. This is the team I'm going with. I think it's pretty similar to the, the first episode, to be honest. I'm not sure if there's any changes. I've still got Perez up front. He's not done anything so far. Been really, really poor. I don't know. Maybe just maybe, maybe play him as an advanced forward, because the poacher role just isn't working whatsoever. So let's try something a bit different. He prefers that role anyway. We've got Stanley on the bench. Where's Tumor anyway? Is he in the under-19s? There he is. He's ineligible. Ah oh, crap, I can't even play him anyway because I didn't register him in time. Ah, oh. well, I think we'll put him in the first team anyway. I failed miserably there. Uh, but yeah, we'll put him in the first team and he might be able to play in the cup games or something and then I guess I can register him in, in June. But we'll allow him to play for the under-19s. Let's get on with this then. I'm only going to be playing one match per episode, I think, most of the time. So I've changed the format from my old traditional way of doing Let's Play series, which is when I had two matches per episode. But the idea is to have some short and snappy episodes, hopefully under 15 minutes long. I know episode one was longer than 15 minutes, but that was introduced in the series. But that's the aim, just to have sort of short, snappy episodes. Hopefully it will allow you casual viewers to watch full episodes. I was looking at the YouTube analytics and I noticed that on average, I think my videos are watched 49%, like 49% of my videos are watched. That's the duration um, on average that someone watches my videos for. 
as we take the lead through Perez in his bright orange outfit and he's got his first goal of the season and it resulted from another free kick. Pessoa, our right back and captain, put it into the box. Uh, Paulinho headed it on, of all people. And Perez slammed it home and we're 1-0 up. This is a, a team we should be beating. Well, we hope we should hopefully be beating as we get 1-1. <coughs> As I have a coughing fit at the same time. Uh, what a start to this match. Two goals inside two and a half minutes. And it's, it's literally from kickoff. What was our defence doing there? It was just lumped over the top. They ran on. This guy, John de Cadiz, ran onto it. And struck it past the keeper, Ferreira. <sighs> All our hard work undone. And now they're coming forwards looking for a second goal. It's crossed in. And oh, it's just headed wide. This doesn't look promising. But yes, we should, we're should. we both predicted to finish in the bottom four this season. I can't remember exactly where they finished, pre predicted to be finished. But they are a thousand to one to win the league, just like ours. But going back to the format of the series. Yeah, I want it to be relatively short videos. Hopefully you guys that don't... I know the hardcore bunch of you, you like long videos and you'll watch all my videos and, and that sort of thing. But I want everyone to try and enjoy this series. And... Uh, Get involved as they come forwards again with a set Arsencio. And what was that? Why is that even a key highlight? It was terrible. We've only had one shot so far, and that was the goal, of course, from Perez. Wellington's on a yellow heading into half time, not playing particularly well, 6.4. But I suppose, to be honest, any points away from home, that's a bonus. If we can get a draw today, that'd be great. We did win our first away game of the season, remember? against Boa Vista. Let's keep it up. That's the, the morale of the team seems to be pretty good when I with my team talks. It although this morale, they're all okay. It's quite strange really, apart from Pirro as he scored. Everyone else is okay, but they do seem to enjoy my team talks. Wellington's not playing well. Maybe if we just try and use him a bit more, exploit the right flank and run at the fence, maybe that will suit him with his dribbling ability. And then he can cross it over to a Paulinho and Pirro's there he goes. He's lost the ball though. Not great from him. Free kick to the opposition. And Fabricio. This is uh, Messia, Messias or Messias or whatever, however you pronounce his name. But they're, they're confusing because there's a couple of players on the pitch that it doesn't show their last name. So I'm getting confused as to who they are. Here's Perez into Fabricio, Messias and Wellington. Can we... Oh, Perez! Oh, he's fired it wide. I mean, that's what he's about finishing and composure and if you can't put those sh shots away then we're in trouble it wasn't the easiest chance in the world but still uh, well it's not Wellington's day I'm gonna throw on Bruno Tabata and play him as an inside forward try that try something a little bit different he's our sort of he's not a wonder kid but he's our one for the future Bruno but the second half has been pretty boring to be honest maybe we should try and push forwards and get a winner should we risk it should I? I feel like maybe I should. Uh, Everton's not had a good good, uh, good game. I'm going to bring on Denair and he's going to play as an advanced playmaker. I'm just fiddling around trying to make a few changes here to win us this game. Maybe I'll bring Stanley on for Perez. Perez has got his goal. We'll throw Stanley on. I don't really have any other natural strikers. Why? Oh, Chuma, I should have, should have registered him. I'm a fool. I'm going to play Stanley as a... Uh, a target man. I'm, I'm dropping Fabricio Messias back into the midfield, and we're going to we're going to pump it. Let's try that. Hit early crosses into the box. Let's try something a bit different for the last few minutes, and I'm going to go standard. And we've won a free kick, Fabricio. It's oh, we've won a penalty. We've won a penalty. I don't know who my penalty taker is. My Perez probably was my penalty taker. I bet. And up steps Pessoa. Oh, he scored. What a penalty that is. He's the He's, oh, wow. That was perfect. Ow, I've just hit my ankle. That hurt. Oh, look at all our little um, picnic benches. In fact, at this we're playing away from home, so it's their picnic benches. That's quite funny. But what a penalty that was. That was brilliant from our captain to possibly win us the game. And I'm going to now go defensive. Denaire's going to drop back into the middle. And we're just going to try and hold on to this. Oh, I've made all my subs. I need a defensive-minded player. And now we put... We'll do that. I don't know what I'm doing. Too many buttons to click on FM18, I think. Let's just turn a few things off and try and hold on for the last few minutes. I want to go defensive. Waste time. 
Come on. There we go. Oh, this would be a magnificent win if we can hold on. Just injury time to go. One minute, 30 seconds. Gone for Sal, just waste time. Here's Denaire with who scored goal of the month, possibly goal of the season. Stanley. Oh, he's given the ball away. That is poor from the target man. He's not really a target man, but he's playing as a target man because I've told him to. But two seconds to go. Blow the whistle. Riff. There we go. We've won our second game of the season. Despite only having four shots and 39% possession, we've FM'd the game. Yeah, that's that's such a such a myth, isn't it? People moaning about having the you know 80% possession, multiple shots and not winning games. I mean that is real life football, isn't it? That's what happens. I enjoyed that one. Oh, I clicked the wrong bloody button. Why have I said I've got nothing specific to say right now? I wanted to say I enjoyed that. So I'm gonna to say to the attackers, I'm gonna say that. Defensively, I'm gonna say Solid defending and midfoot. So I'm just doing individual ones. There we go. That's made them a little bit happy. So after five games, there's a few teams that haven't played their fifth game. But after five games, we're on eight points. We're currently in fourth place. Two wins, two draws, one loss. However, we haven't played any of the big boys yet. And next episode, I'm actually going to play Porto. I'm going to play a few games behind the scenes. We've got Sporting who are a big boy, of course, in Portugal. Um, we've got Estoril, Tendula, Ferenc, an unknown team in the cup. And yeah, and then Porto. So that's going to be episode three. I hope you're looking forward to that. There's not really any format to this uh, this series, like, like I've said. So the aims of the series, there's not really any particular aims. I'm just going to have fun, play through, see what happens. If we win things, we win things. If we do well, we do well. If we don't do well, we don't do well. <laughs> I'm just going to enjoy this save as if it's a normal football manager save for me and hopefully you guys will enjoy it too. Secondly, in terms of upload schedule, I want it to be as regular as possible and if I do upload during the week it's going to be half three UK time in the afternoon. That's You might have gathered that's the time that I tend to upload um, my main series videos. Weekends will be a little bit different. If there's a video on Saturday and Sunday, I tend to do them in the morning before all the football starts in the afternoon. That's that's my theory. So that's what I would do. There's not going to be an upload schedule though. I'm not going to say I'm going to upload every day or every other day. It's just going to be, I'll try and get as many videos as, as out as possible. And I will just play through this save and enjoy it. And hopefully you guys will have some fun too watching this. It'd be great if you could hit that like button as well, just to let me know every episode that you are enjoying this, the series. I'm not going to pest you and say 500 likes or I'm deleting my channel nothing like that don't worry just sometimes you need a little bit of a reminder I do when I watch YouTube videos I need a reminder sometimes to like a video so hopefully you guys appreciate that but until next time I hope you enjoy FM 18 I hope you've had a great start to 2018 I'll see you very soon